subscribe to our YouTube channel and press the bell icon to get latest notification. Assalamu alaikum students. In the previous lecture, we discussed the definition of refraction and the definition of different types of media. Now, uh, today we are going to discuss the direction of bending and laws of refraction of light. Direction of bending of light. We have two types of media. First is optically rarer medium and the other is optically denser medium. Now, if a ray of light is traveling from an optically rarer medium to an optically denser medium. For example, the light is traveling from air and is entering into glass. Or sometimes the light may travel from water to air, water to air, like this is the surface of water, light is coming from beneath the water, so it would come in air. Now, where would the ray get deviated? What would be the direction of bending of light? See, for example, light is traveling from air. Light is traveling from air. This is air. This ray is known as incident ray. Now, here it's the surface of water. It's entering the surface of water at this point, known as point of incidence, fine. So, a ray of light is coming from air, it is propagating through air and is entering into the water. We know air is rarer in comparison to water. So, the speed of light is more in air than water. So, we can write here it is a rarer medium and it is denser medium. Why? Because the speed of light in air is more in comparison to that of water. Now, upon the point of incidence, we would draw a perpendicular called the normal represented by N. Fine. So, upon the point of incidence, we draw a normal, a perpendicular called the normal. So, this is incident ray striking the surface of water. Now, it is entering into the surface of water. It is changing its medium. The speed of light would also get changed. So, the direction would get changed. Direction of propagation would get changed. So, the ray of light would bend. It would bend towards the normal. So, it would bend in such a way, it would bend in such a way, like the ray of light is coming this way, fine. So, its original path should be like this straight. No, now it would bend like this. It would try to go towards the normal. It would try to get deviated towards the normal. So, whenever the ray of light travels from rarer medium to a denser medium, here the medium is not it can uh, is not necessarily that it would be air here the medium is not necessarily water we are simply saying that the medium is air here the air is rarer medium and the water is denser so the ray of light is traveling from rarer medium to a denser medium whenever the ray of light travels from rarer to denser medium definitely the refraction would take place but it would get refracted in such a way that it would bend towards the normal. So, I can here write the whenever the ray of light, whenever the ray of light travels from rarer medium to a denser medium, whenever the ray of light travels from rarer medium to a denser medium, it would bend, what would be the direction of bending? it would bend towards the normal. It would follow this path, this path. The speed of light get, would get slowed down, so it would follow this path. It would try to come towards, close to the normal. That's why we wrote towards the normal. It would bend towards the normal. So, the direction of bending depends upon the media, the two media. 
if the ray of light is traveling from a rarer medium to a denser medium, the ray of light would bend towards the normal. Now, if a ray of light is traveling from denser to rarer, what would be the case? C. Now, if the ray of light is traveling from water to air or from glass to air, from glass to air like this, this is the incident ray. Now the glass is denser, it is denser medium. Why is it denser medium? Because the speed of light in glass is less in comparison to that of air. Okay. So, air is rarer medium, okay. Now the ray of light is striking this point known as point of incidence. Now we would draw a normal, a perpendicular upon the point of incidence called the normal. This is incident ray. Now the refraction would take place once the light enters into the water. Once the light enters into air, sorry, when the once the light enters into the air, coming from glass, coming out of the glass, now the light is entering into the air. Now it would bend, the refraction would take place, but it would bend away from the normal. The ray of light would bend away from the normal. This is the incident ray, fine. The ray of light would bend like this the refracted ray would bend away from the normal. The speed of light is getting increased, so the ray of light is getting deviated away from the normal. It would try to fly, fly away from the normal. So, whenever the ray of light goes from denser medium, whenever the rays, ray of light goes from denser medium to a rarer medium, denser medium to a rarer medium it would bend it would bend away from the normal whenever the ray of light goes from denser medium to a rarer medium it would bend away from the normal so the ray of light could have got deviated this way but the speed of light is getting faster upon entering the air so the ray of light would try to get away from the normal like this Fine. In case of that, when it is coming from uh, rarer to denser, it would bend towards the normal. It would try to come close to the normal. But in case of denser to rarer, the ray of light would get away from the normal. Fine. So, this is the direction of bending of light. When a ray of light goes from rarer to denser medium, it would bend towards the normal. But when the ray of light goes from denser to rarer medium, it would bend away from the normal. Now, this is all about the direction of bending of light. Now we will discuss the laws of refraction of light. Laws of refraction of light. Laws of refraction of light. Laws of refraction of light, we uh, have already discussed about the laws of reflection of light. As far as, as far as the laws of refraction of light are concerned, the first law is very similar to that of uh, reflection. Like this is incident ray, it is striking a surface, but the, here the surface is transparent now like glass or water. This ray coming from any source is known as incident ray. The point where the ray of light strikes is known as point of incidence. Now the ray of light is getting deviated whether towards the normal or away from the normal. Here it is normal, fine. So the ray of light is getting deviated, ray of light uh, is, the refraction is taking place. This ray is known as a refracted ray. Refracted ray, the light coming from any source known as incident ray, the point where it strikes known as point of incidence 
and upon the point of incidence we are drawing a normal a perpendicular called the normal the ray that's getting deflected that's getting deviated from its original path known as refracted ray fine the law states that the incident ray the reflected ray sorry refracted ray and the normal normal where the normal is drawn the normal is drawn to the point of incidence where the point of incidence it lies upon the boundary it lies upon the boundary separating the two media this is the surface separating the two media and the point of incidence lies on that boundary fine so the incident ray a refracted ray and the normal to the point of incidence to the point of incidence all lie in same plane all lie in same plane we have already discussed it that in case uh, while uh, studying the laws of reflection so if the ray of light is upon the surface of this board the reflected ray or the refracted ray would upon be the surface of board and uh, we could draw the normal like this but we cannot now judge the angle of incidence angle of refraction here the normal should also lie upon the surface of board fine so the incident ray the refracted ray and the normal to the point of incidence point of incidence separate at on the upon the boundary separating the two media all lie in the same plane fine this is the first law now second law second law here it is incident ray falling upon a surface here it's normal this is a refracted ray this is incident ray refracted ray normal this angle angle between incident ray and the normal it's known as angle of incidence angle of incidence or simply i okay this angle between refracted ray and the normal the angle between refracted ray and the normal this angle it's known as angle of refraction angle of refraction r or angle r fine so this second law gives the relationship between the angle of incidence and the angle of refraction second law gives the relationship between angle of incidence and angle of refraction and what's that relation this relation was experimentally studied by snell by snell and based upon that experiment the second law was named upon his uh, was uh, titled upon his name known as Snell's law Snell's law so second law of refraction we can call it Snell's law now what does this state it gives the relationship between angle of incidence and angle of refraction the Snell's law states that the ratio of ratio of angle of incidence to the angle of refraction angle of incidence to the angle of refraction the Snell's law is discussing two things the angle of incidence and the angle of refraction but not only angle of incidence the sine of angle of incidence sine of angle of incidence to the angle of refraction is there but it's sine value sine of angle of refraction so Snell's law is stating giving a relationship between two things first is the angle of incidence and the other is angle of refraction the sine of angle of incidence to the sine of angle of refraction is constant the value of do these two uh, quantities it's constant for a pair of media in contact 
for a pair of media for example these two media air and water for example for a pair of media in contact media is the plural for uh, plural for medium fine the ratio of sine of angle of incidence we can say the uh, ratio of angle of incidence to the angle of refraction but which one which value of angle of incidence and angle of refraction sine of sine of angle of incidence to the sine of angle of refraction this 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 ratio gives us a value this ratio gives us a value which is constant in nature which is constant in nature and that constant is known as refractive index that constant is known as refractive index so Snell's law is stating that there is a ratio there is a relationship between angle of incidence and angle of refraction but the ratio is not directly the value of angle of incidence and angle of refraction no sine of angle of incidence to the sine of angle of refraction these this ratio would give us a constant value and that constant value is known as refractive index so i can write the Snell's law like this If it is angle of incidence I and its angle of refraction R, sine of angle of incidence to the sine of angle of refraction is constant for the pair of media in contact. This is Snell's law. Sine I by sine R, angle of incidence divided by angle of refraction, but their sine value, sine of an angle of incidence to the sine of angle of refraction is constant. So, sine I by sine R is equal to that constant is known as refractive index refractive index the refractive index is denoted by symbol this refractive index is denoted by symbol known as mu mu not mu mu m it starts with m so sine of angle of incidence to the sine of angle of refraction is constant for a pair of media and that constant is known as refractive index denoted by mu this is the second law known as Snell's law now what exactly is the concept behind this Snell's law this is the relation but what exactly is the concept we will discuss this later but here the um, law states that if the law gives a relation between angle of incidence and angle of refraction and the ratio of these two uh, angles sine of uh, sine of the values of these two angles gives us a constant value and that constant value is known as refractive index so second law simply states that this sine of angle of incidence divided by or to the sine of angle of refraction is constant and that constant is known as refractive index denoted by mu fine now what this refractive index is What's the concept of refractive index? We'll discuss it inshallah in the next lecture. Thank you.